YouTube. Hi, I'm Pinstar, and this is Sunless Sea Strategy and Tactics Getting Started Guide Let's Play and other titles. Uh, episode 2. So in our last episode, we took a northern loop looking for the salt lions. Uh, we did not find them, but we found the uh, uh, Gator's Morn, which is where the Admiralty sent us, and picked up a number of good port reports along the way. Um, so we got some goodies here. We still have some money. We are in dire need of supplies, however. Um, uh, we just got raided by the customs officials here looking for illegal goods, but we do not have any illegal goods. In fact, the only goods we have is one fuel and one food. No, they're not illegal, so we're good. So we are back in London. Ah, uh, so upon uh, re returning to London here, we can uh, pick up our uh, dockside uh, uh, from the harbor master here. And I've uh, got a number of uh, things here for us, so let's take a look here. The burning blue. Um, no, I guess the sailors uh, are a little freaked out by some lights here. And we gain a fragment. Good. Don't need any more terror. Okay, a couple of things here. First off, we have a little gift here. Um, so this guy, I am on the fence as to what to do with him, but... I'm wanting, I'm, I'm more inclined to accept his di dispensation because the quests he gives out later on are, they actually pay out pretty decently well. You kind of have to do them when he asks you to do them. You, you can't just like set it aside and do it on your own time, which is the annoying part. But getting the dispensation up here is good because up front he gives us 10 fuel and 5 supplies. Yeah, we get one, we get one level of suspicion. But that's okay. All right. So we are, well, in, in some supplies, but we're not done yet. Let's go to our, actually, no, not our lodging set. Let's go to London. Let's go to London and let's carouse. We got to get this terror down. Our terror level is still pretty high. And the one way to do that is uh, by uh, going carousing. There's another reason for going carousing. Hopefully we, uh, Hopefully it works out. We were fortunate. Good. We spent our 30 echo. Yes, I know we're spending money, but in this case, it's worth it. We have, uh, we got our recent news. We were fortunate. We lost some terror, which is good. And okay. Um, sometimes you have a chance of finding a, uh, a, a potential mate, uh, when you do your carousing. And that's kind of what we were fishing for. So, um, Better like next time. You only do it once per visit to London here. But we're not done here. Let's go to the Admiralty's office. All right, let's turn in our port reports. Um, so Demu's Gate. So go, turning in a port report will give you a fuel. The first time you visit a uh, turn in a port report for the uh, for a specific port, you will gain one level of Admiralty's favor. Um, you lose your port report, but that just means you can get another one later. So don't think that we can never go back to Demu Island and get another port report. They'll still pay us in both the fuel and the echoes. Uh, Gators Morn, Fuel Favors, and 30 Echoes. Like I said, the further away, and also the more difficult it is to get a port report, the more they'll generally pay you. But it's still worth it just for the free fuel, too. Hunters keep, you know, like, they're right outside. Five Echoes, but you still get the fuel for it. Uh, once you've turned in three, you can start talking to the Admiral, which is awesome. Uh, Vendor Blight's worth 10 Echoes. Wither is worth 20 Echoes. Codex is also worth 20 echoes. Oh uh, well, yes, that strategic information uh, for completing that quest. This is not like a port report. It's a one-time thing. Um, pass on our strategic information. We're worth 150 echoes. We don't get the free fuel out of it, but it's still really good and another favor of them. And by turning that in, it unlocks the ability to take another specific port mission, which we definitely want to do. They want to go to, to, go to Codex. We already know where Codex is. Codex is freaking easy to get to. Wow. Okay. Thank you for another free 150. All we got to do is spin our way up there. Uh, we have a few more port reports, if I remember. No, we don't. We do not have more port reports. But uh, is there anything else for the Admiral? No, I think that's everything for the Admiral. Let's go back to London, and we can visit the university now. Now, we're going to have to trade in one of our secrets. We have four, but we don't have any officers to... Uh, trade our secrets in for stat gains yet. So that's okay. 
So we will do that and we get uh, access to the Alarming Scholar. Now the Alarming Scholar allows you to turn in your stories, your secrets, your this, your that, uh, all for good stuff. And while it is definitely uh, uh, worthwhile, not everything is worth turning in. However, outlandish artifacts, especially in the excuse me, early game, absolutely worth it. So because they sell for a hundred apiece. He gives you a hundred and they're not that difficult to come across. So if you come across any outlandish artifacts, give them to the scholar, the store, the Z stories and the, uh, the tales of distant shores. I like to hold on to those because there's other uses for them. Um, but that should be it for the university. Um, oh yeah. Someone wants to come on. This is our chance to get an officer. What do we got here? An irrepressible cannoneer, sigil ridden navigator, I like the sigil-ridden navigator. He uh, he's got some good stats. Um, I mean, yeah, they all caught. Oh, this uh, the gunnery officer's only twenty echoes, but we're have a, we're gonna have a chance to get a gunnery officer in the in the near future, other than at London. So we're gonna get the navigator. So we go ahead and make him there. Excellent. Now him by himself gives us six mirrors and three veils. Uh, mirrors is helps you with detection, getting firing solutions faster, and also mirrors checks. Uh, veils is uh, avoiding detection. Very useful. And also veils checks, which is also very useful. I love veils. Just for the record, veils is my favorite stat uh, of all the stats. Um, and part of my reason for, for checking the mysterious stranger background, uh, you'll see why in the, in the long time, once I can pull off my gambit here. Um, is anyone buying those sea pearls that we got? Uh, whoops. No, this place doesn't buy the sea pearls, but it doesn't take up room in our hold either. So we're pretty good. Let's see, six supplies um, plus 17 fuel. We could use a few more things of supplies. Uh, yeah, that's about good. And what I'm going to do, actually, um, just because we have that strategic information quest, I'm going to do actually the same exact loop that we just did. I'm going to visit all the same reports that we saw in the last episode um, and uh, uh, get all the report reports again, do their storylines, all that good stuff, um, and then come back here a little bit richer, having done the codexes, and then we'll go off and search the the, the uh, lions. We will. This will be a profitable run. That being said, it might be a little bit of a redundant run, so I'm going to put a cut here and uh, uh, join you guys back when we return to London. See you in a bit. Oh yeah, uh, I'm also going to buy, uh, just like we did before, but now that we have more money, we can do more of it, uh, buy up a whole butt ton of uh, mushroom wine. To sell to Vendor Blight. Okay, now I'll see you on the flip side. Hello, YouTube. I am Pinstar, and this is Sunless Sea. Oh, wait a minute. We're in the middle of an episode, aren't we? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, welcome back, people. I didn't just forget that I thinking this was another episode. So, yeah, we had completed ourselves another lap around, uh, around this little northern up, up here. Vendor blight, drop off the wine, get there, get our uh, get our strategic intelligence from Codex, hit up uh, Demu Island, lose some crew there, hit up Gators Morn, lose a few more crew there, uh, and I decided to just swing low to hit up uh, Quaker's Haven because that's that's on the line here and to the left of it rather. So we are always uh, it's always there before I head back to London because we got a considerably more supplies and uh, food here. You can barely see the dang place, but it's here. So it'll be good for a port report and a story. We also pick up that wretched mog uh, for, uh, that would have prevented the rat attacks. Um, we could do that. Uh, it also prevents us from getting rat engineers from healing our ship. But you know what? That's not the end of the world. Uh, we got to pay the fishermen one one echo to uh, chat with them. And then, um, do I want a wretched mog? Uh, I don't really think I want a wretched mog. So we're just going to explore the shore. Eh, it's the riddles again. Eh, we'll, t we'll take the easy one. Because even if you fail it, you only lose one echo and you get five fragments. That's not a bad exchange, all said and done. 
And yeah, that's it for here. And that's it for here. I'm going to turn my light off here, and there's a reason. My terror is actually over 50. Well, it's 50 now. It will be over 50 uh, soon. But when you get to London, it always automatically drops itself back down to, uh, uh, to 50, even if it's over that. And it does that for free. Oh, hi there, Mr. Krabby Patty. I don't have time for you right now. These crabs are really not worth it to fight. Now, if you come to London with significantly over 50, then you're going to start getting nightmares. Uh, but I think slightly over 50, you're not going to suffer the nightmares. And we'll, we'll burn up less fuel this way. Yeah, because that, that tick of terror that brought us to 53 is... Uh, that's not going to be too bad. And we got our light back just in time for London. You do want to make sure you have your light on London. That's how you get the, the freebie time to go carousing. All right, they're going to search our ship. We got no declare. We got no... Uh, we got no goods here to uh, to hide, so we're gonna go ahead and let them search. That does nothing. All right, breath of relief. Yes. Oh, we did get a nightmare. Well, poopy pants. Well, we probably would have picked that up anyway. And it's only one strength one nightmare. Um. All right. So, we got our news, we got our goodies here. Ah, so the bruiser, like I said, he kind of comes shoving his way and uh, insisting that you do his quest here. Uh, so he wants us to make a delivery. Sure. He wants us to go find Mount Palmerson, and it's a uh, crate of unstamped, an unstamped crate of brilliant souls. Now, if you remember from that, from the revenue men, that's kind of what they were looking for. Now, they're not going to visit me again, so I can get out of port fine with them, but I don't want to not have delivered them by the time I come back to port. So our, our number one objective is going to find, is going to be finding Mount Palmerson, uh, because yeah. We're going to want to finish that and hopefully bump into the salt lions along the way. I haven't forgotten about them. All right. So what do we have here? Um, you, my friend, uh, are wanting to give me a tattoo. And um, uh, not only do you get a uh, permanent stat boost by getting a tattoo, but it also reduces your terror by 25 points. Um, it's a one-time thing, but it's useful in this regard because we're rocking a lot of terror right now. Um, now, you do need some ancillary items to pick all the different types of things you want. Uh, we only have two of the things. Um, you know what? Um, I think I might go for this, because I've got a whole bunch of these Tales of Terror. I only have one memory of Distant Shores. Yeah, let's go over the Tale of Terrors. Get our irons. Well, no, you know what? Let's do the mirrors one. I like the mirrors one because our mirrors are already pretty high. And so continually boosting it will give us an edge on those challenges. So we lost an echo. Yeah, only one one echo for a tattoo, uh, but got two mirrors and lost 25 uh, terror. So we're down to 25. And that's not all the anti-terror stuff we can do. We can do another round of carousing, which we're going to do. Uh, we were fortunate. Lost another five terror. Come on. Yes. All right, we got romance, so we can choose to pick up a, uh, a likely lass or a dapper chap. I'm going to choose to identify our captain here as male, uh, well, heterosexual male, so we're going to go after the lass. Th I don't think there's any much of a difference between the two of them, functionally gameplay-wise. Uh, so we lost an additional three terror. Having a love interest really helps uh, uh, with terror reduction when you come back to, to London. Because you get a lot more terror reduction out of visiting your, your girlfriend or your, later on your family than you do just, uh, uh, you know, going out for drinks. So it is good in multiple ways. Hire on more crew? Uh... Hmm... 
We're at the sweet spot of five of ten, but if we lose one more crew member, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be going at half's pace. But you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna chance it. I'm gonna chance it. I, I like to live a little dangerously here. And if we go at half speed, it's not the end of the world. Uh, but we have a new recruit. Um, oh, so no more officers then, eh? Well, you know what? We'll hire one dude. Oh, when we lost the terror. Okay. That way it hedges us. If we lose one guy, we're not going to go at half speed. And But we still are feeding fewer people. All right. Uh, let's see. Our lodgings. We already got that. We could rest. Ooh, actually resting here would not be a bad thing. Because that gives us a restful night, which uh, helps us resist a nightmare check. And now that we picked up a nightmare, that might be a good thing to have. Uh, it also reduces our terror. So we lose one terror and get a restful night. So that restful night will help in our in our nightmare check. Uh, the alarming scholar, we didn't pick up anything they want, uh, but we do have our port reports and our strategic information. 150 echoes, sweet. And that also means we can pick up our next quest for him. Uh, Mount Palmerson. <laughs> Mount Palmerson. Okay, so now we have two quests pointing us towards Mount Palmerson. God, man, I love you. I love you, man. Okay, yeah, we definitely screw the salt lines for now. We gotta find Mount Palmerson. Let's su submit our port reports, and we got just as many. Actually, we got one more than last time. But again, even though we've already turned in a port report for Demu Islands, once we turned it in, we can go back out, get another one. We get the money. We get the fuel. We just don't get the additional Admiralty's favor because uh, we already turned in this report. But it's still freaking worth it. Quaker's Haven's our new one. Then our favor goes up in addition to getting paid. Vendor Blight. Wither. Codex, and that's all of those. Um, anything else that we need? How is our supplies? We got fuel, we got... Uh, uh, we're not... I don't think we're going to go up to Vendor Blight again. Let me check my map real quick. Because usually Mount... Actually, you know what? We probably will do another run up to Vendor Blight, because Mount Palmerson tends to be here-ish. And I know that's kind of a, a wide statement, but compare that to the rest of the map. Here-ish is, is a more specific area than here-ish. It tends to be towards the north, and it tends to be in the middle. Uh, but again, every since it's to the right of this first line, it's random. Uh, but again, we might bump into the salt lions too, which would not be a bad thing either. But we, we are definitely looking for Mount Palmerson before anything else. So yeah, you know what I think? I'm going to take a road up to Vendor Blight, uh, probably up to Wither and Codex just to pick up the extra things and then head this way. And then if I get to about here, then I'll start heading south and sort of corkscrew our way in here. Good to plan routes ahead. Um, we're not ready to launch yet. We need to do some business. Uh, food, seven. Let's make it eight. Fuel, 15. Let's make it 20. Uh, and then everything else gets to be... Oh yeah, we can sell our spider silk. that We, we picked up a thing of spider silk from some pirates. Uh, so we can sell that for a little cash. And, uh, mushroom. Mushroom wine. Boom, 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 boom. Got the cash to fill our hold with it. I don't think we have anything else to sell besides the mushroom wine. And yeah, we got those souls. They're taking up one room. But again, that's what Mel Palmerson's for. All right, we are off. And we got our tear down. Uh, how's our food? We can, might be able to make it to the House of the Sisters. Uh, before we eat again, which means we'll get some free freebie supplies and freebie uh, 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 freebie hunger reduction. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to sail away till I burn up one unit of fuel here, because um, we we wouldn't have room for the free supplies they give us. Oh, actually, I might need to. I might not need to to fart around. 
All right, we've burnt up our one thing of fuel, so there's one room in our hold now. Let us dock. We will deposit our, well, we'll get our port report. Can't forget that. And we'll deposit our uh, recent news to open up their luncheons. Uh, let's go lunch with Cynthia again. I know that's going to increase our, our stuff. Actually, well, let's see. There's that. Well, let's, let's do it with Lucy, because... Each dining with each of the three sisters opens gets the attention of the three gods. Uh, salt with Cynthia, uh, storm with Phoebe, which which I did with uh, off screen. I, I lunched with Phoebe last time because we needed some terror reduction. So let's do Lucy here. So she feeds us, um, and yet we have Stone's attention, the third god, um, and we lost ten terror. So that gives us the attention of all three gods. Uh, that opens up some interesting interactions and other storylets uh, for other islands later on. Usually good. Um, all right, so we and they tanked our hunger and gave us another supply. So plenty of food, and we won't be tearing through the food too much because our crew is uh, less than they were last time. And actually, um, I'm really glad they're all sending me to Mount Palmerson, because Mount Palmerson's a really important island to find uh, sooner rather than later. The reason being is that Mount Palmerson is a very cheap supply of fuel. They sell fuel for nine echoes a piece. That's one echo cheaper than you can get even in London. Uh, and since you tend to burn through fuel faster than you burn through supplies, it acts as sort of like a really cheap mid-exploration refueling station. So if you're if you're running out of fuel, but you don't really want to go all the way back to London again, you can hit up Mount Palmerson and refill the tank. Oh yeah, we had our lass here. Uh, you can throw it away or keep it. We definitely want to keep it. We want, uh, we want this. We want uh, our, our lovely lady back home. Because that also comes into sort of a... Oh, I see some bats. Whoa! Oh, here comes... Here comes the nightmares. I'm glad I got that restful sleep. So it tells us what flavor of nightmares we're, we're suffering. Luckily, it's only strength one, so we, with one successful check, we should be able to defeat it, which might give us a free secret. So maybe it's a good thing I got the nightmare. All right, gather some gossip for a port report. We'll hit up the shops and sell all of our wine. Yay, a little extra money. Never hurts, never hurts. Go back here, use our, uh, our something has is waiting for us to explore. What do we got here? Ooh, the serpent image. Uh, Chancy challenge, 52%. Um, let's grab it. Yes, an outlandish artifact. Sweet. All right, that's worth an extra hundred uh, when we get back to uh, to deposit that at the uh, at the university. Sweet. It's almost always worth doing the little storylets. As you get more familiar with the types of storylets that can happen at... Oh, hi there, Mr. Bats. It's going to be hard to shoot at you. Bonk. Pretty soon I'm going to have to get some repairs for this thing. And we can pick up the corpses for an extra supply, since we made a bunch of room in our... Oh, we discovered Gant's Abyss. Sweet. Oh yeah, that reminds me, we can uh, we can start buffing our mirrors, too. Um, do I want to buff our mirrors? No, well, we might as well buff our mirrors. Although mirrors aren't really useful till later in the game. I mean, they become really, really useful. Don't get me wrong. But early game, mirrors not so much. Oh, crap. Turn that light off. No lifeboat, please. We are not, uh, we are not a combat-equipped ship. We're gonna stay the heck away from you. Phew. 
Ah, it's snowing. Snow is probably the most obnoxious of the weathers. It All it does, it slows you down to half speed. But it, half speed is just so freaking slow. It sucks getting caught in a snowstorm. Hopefully this is just the edge of it. Because it hasn't slowed us down yet. Alright, let's get our port report. Let's explore. Again with the foods. Let's just do the shredded jellyfish. I don't want to do the mysterious thing. Um, yeah. That's we failed it, but it's not the end of the world. Shore leave and wither? No, not for not for fifty echoes. You'll notice I've got, I've built up a decent so turn that light off. I've built up a decent supply of echoes, but I'm not being too eager to spend them. And then, well, some of the things I want to spend them on are a little bit more expensive than we could afford on 700 echoes. And secondly, yeah, just because you have money now doesn't mean you'll have it later. Um, and you always want to have a cash reserve to spend on supplies and fuel in case you have a uh, an uneventful and unfruitful uh, run of uh, of exploration run. All right, so we'll spin by Codex here, get our port report, and continue on since there's no storylets there. And we, I, we were able to mostly dodge the snowstorm, at least without it slowing us down. That's it. Ah, flee the nightmare. All right, straightforward challenge. 100% chance of a success. Westful night, we burned that. Do we get a secret? Yes! Lost to terror? Menace's recurring nightmares is gone. Do we get a secret? Yes? No? Maybe so? I don't know if we got a secret from that, but we didn't <laughs> we didn't wait for those the uh, the nightmares to get terribly strong first. Um, but I'm glad I got that restful sleep, because that certainly boosted my chances. Is that... I think that's just a lighthouse. Oh yeah, it's rag, It's the Ragged Crow. Duh. Ooh, Tyrant Moth. Ugh, that's a 500 hit point death machine. We do not want to play with the Tyrant Moth. Let's, let's swing south in search of Mount Palmers and... We do not want to play with Mr. Tyrant Moth. Well, you're right. you know what? Since, um... Let's talk to our navigator here for a couple of reasons. One, let's feed him. Because that, uh, that opens up his storyline here. So, he eats the supplies. That's a lot of food for one dude. Let's talk to him again. And he's got he's not the only one with dreams here. He wants to go to the Chapel of Lights, which is another island around here. We might bump into it in our search for Mount Palmerson, which is why I wanted to start this. Um, and then the other thing we can do is turn in our uh, uh, turn in our uh, secrets. We have four of them to increase our mirrors. Um, and yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Because mirrors helps you out in combat, but also mirrors checks are useful. So we're up to a 37 mirrors. And we'll get more secrets in case I want to diversify my stats. Let's, uh, since we're plunging into the unknown, let's send out that Z-Bat, see if he can find us some things. No islands in his range yet, but that just means we keep exploring. I'm going to explore up and down this little thing so I reveal two, two, uh, two, two tiles wide here. And it doesn't really cost you anything to send out the Z-Bat. There's no real downside to doing it. So might as well use it. Ah. Uh. Recording while you have the hiccups is not a fun thing. 
Because that either means you guys have to put up with that or I have to meet... Oop, Avid Horizon. Where is that? Up there. Well, let's go visit it. It's not the island we're looking for, but always good to uh, to hit that up because that means Newport reports um, and potentially good storyline stuff. Yeah, I'll want to avoid that life bark. Oop, who is this? Oh, is this the Chapel of Lights? I think it's the Chapel of Lights. I'll deal with ha the Avid Horizon later. It's not even that interesting of a port. Yep, Chapel of Lights. Now, unfortunately, if I remember correctly, this, uh, this, uh, we won't be able to do his thing just yet because they require, uh, payment. And not the fun kind of payment either. Or perhaps the fun kind of payment. But we will still, uh, visit it. Alright, uh, we can gather intelligence. Um, so we can either pay the price of two live specimens or the price of two of our crew, uh, but also having the menace unaccountably peckish, i.e. cannibalistic. Um, but paying two crew right now would drop us below half, which would put us at half speed. We don't want to do that right yet. But now we know where the Chapel of Lights is. Uh, let's eat here, because um, I'm sure that's not people that we're eating. Um, you can pick that trade up by succeeding at the uh, thing here. We're not going to do that just yet. But it's good to know now where the cha chapel is. So let's swing down, because we're going to want to sweep down this column in search of Mount Palmerson and or the Salt Lions. At this point, I really want to find Mount Palmerson first. We're good on supplies for now. Just delayed how long it's going to take us to eat through our next supplies. And we got a new port report. And we also kind of know where that other port is, but that, yeah, it's right up here. But we don't, we're, we're not in the market for going up there just yet. The salt lions. Oh, we found the salt lions. Sweet. We found the salt lions. We found the salt lions. And we are in perfect we are perfect uh, shape to pick them up, but I still want to find Mount Palmerson uh, because I want to get these illegal souls out of my case here. Ah, the salt lions. Yeah, this is this is your this is your key to the uh, good life in the early game, transitioning from just treading the surface of financially to actually having. Uh, some good amount of wealth that you can start buying some good stuff with, and that's a jellyfish, by the looks of it. All right, we will visit the Unmakers. Uh, that's good for some terror reduction. Very, very free five-point terror reduction plus a fragment. Very good use there. Uh, get our port report and. This right here, carry Sphinx Stone to London. You need a 200 Echo deposit and you need 20 spare units of cargo. We have 20 spare units of cargo to pick up that Sphinx Stone. You bring that back to London and you get paid. You get paid 500 Echoes for that. And you can repeat that several times before the storyline uh, steps in to advance itself. And even then, advancing that storyline is not the worst thing in the world. Oop, jellyfish saw us all clear. Now, Part of me wants to come back and check over here for Mount Palmerson because it I've seen it appear all the way over here. It's obnoxious when it does that. Um, but then I'd be backtracking and there it might be down here, too. Um, but I don't want to not return. 
Let's, let me, let me. Oh, you stop that. Knock it off. I'm not fighting you, Mr. Corvette. Yeah, lose sight of me. I got my lights. Oh god, it's the cons! Oh god, it's the cons. Well, no reason not to visit them. We'll say hi to the cons. If anything, for the port reports. We'll deal with the Connate later. They're important later, but right now we're not here for uh, we're not here for them. So actually, while uh, while I wait to uh, wait to see if uh, my gut feeling is correct or not, um, we're gonna put a cut right here. So if you guys uh, like this episode and want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, better, and different. Your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya.